Wall Street is much in the news these days. Next weekend, it's coming to the movies. David Edelstein has a preview. No matter what you think of the Occupy Wall Street protesters, and I'm not here as a political pundit, so I can't talk to them directly, I hope you'll agree that they deserve some R&R, &R, maybe even movie night. Have I got the movie? J.C. Chander's terrific Wall Street nail-biter margin call, which suggests that I'm quoting Nobel Prize winning economist Paul Krugman, the so-called masters of the universe got rich by peddling complex financial schemes that helped push us into a crisis whose after effects continue to blight the lives of tens of millions of their fellow citizens. Except Margin Call tells the story from their point of view and in a weird way makes you feel for them, makes you feel what it's like to have to choose between your own wealth and, you know, tens of millions of other people's 401ks. Yeah, hello? I need you guys to come back up here. Wait a second. Just trust me, okay? I need you guys back here now. In the film, we're not down on the street with the unshowered masses. Is that figure right? Looks we're way right. up in the offices of a mighty financial firm, perched over the shoulder of a risk management underling played by Zachary Quinto, who gets a file from his laid-off boss, played by Stanley Tucci, and discovers... Be careful. Well, he gets the same look as the guy in Deep Impact who realizes a giant comet is headed straight for Earth. There are eight trillion dollars of paper around the world relying on that equation. Well, we were wrong. The structure is like a disaster movie, but what spooks the execs is not that their assets are toxic, but the prospect of everyone else finding out. And it's only natural for us to cheer for people trying to save the day, even if they're flimflam artists. There are three ways to make a living in this business. Be first, be smarter, or cheat. Explode that comet. Kevin Spacey's character begins as a complacent cutthroat. How do you think I've stuck around this place so long? But it turns out there's a line he's loath to cross. You cannot be doing what you're thinking of doing. A fire sale of worthless assets to unsuspecting customers, many of whom will go bust. Sell it all today. You're selling something that you know has no value. So that we may survive. But the head this of the firm, it. played by Jeremy Irons, this is it. in Boris Karloff mode, isn't moved by his reasoning. Spacey gives a major performance, and Quinto, Tucci, Simon Baker, and even Demi Moore are amazingly convincing. And seeing the world for a couple of hours through the eyes of Wall Street's minions will give those protesters a better idea of just how scary and how human what they're up against really is.